Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Snook with section 8.4, which is on angles of elevation and depression. So um, 8.4 is um, it's an application of what we did in 8.3. So there really isn't anything new in this section. You're going to solve these problems the same way we've done before. We're just going to use a little bit different terminology. We're going to talk about angle of elevation. And that is one of your vocab words. And what it means is when you're looking up at an object, that angle that you're looking up is your angle of elevation. So in our picture here, here's you. You're looking at the top of this lighthouse, and your eye line is right here, but you have to tilt your head to look up. And so that angle you're looking up at, that's your angle of elevation. So it's going to be an angle in your right triangle. So let's go ahead and do a couple of problems on these. The first one is, um, I want to do number two first. Angle of elevation from a kicker's foot on the football field to the top of the goalpost bars is 17 degrees. If he is standing 131 feet from the base of the goalpost, how tall is the goalpost? So draw a picture on these. Always draw a picture. So here's my kicker, and here's the goalpost. And so right here is my triangle. Here's my 90 degree angle. Kicker is 131 feet from the base of the goalpost. So this is 131 feet in length here. And the angle of elevation from a kicker's foot, so that's why I put this triangle down on his foot, is 17 degrees. And how tall is the goalpost? There's X. So I've drawn my picture. Now just like in section 8.3, Label your triangle. So this one is opposite. This one is adjacent. So I'm going to then choose my trig ratio. I want to choose tangent because I have opposite over adjacent. So tangent of 17 is going to equal x over 131. And then to solve for x, I multiply both sides by 131. So I'm going to get x equals 131 times the tangent of 17. Punch that into your calculator. And I got 40.05. And it says to round to the nearest tenth. So 40.1 feet. So that's how tall the goalpost is. Now the other one I want to show you is um, the first one on my notes. And the picture for this one is actually provided for us in our definition. It says, uh, Casey sights the top of an 84 foot tall lighthouse. So this is 84 feet. So this is Casey. And the angle of elevation is 58 degrees, but Casey is six feet tall. So right here I have six feet and my angle of elevation is 58 degrees. And I want to know how far Casey is standing from the base of the lighthouse. So my X is going to be right here. So check this out. Because Casey is six feet tall, the bottom of our triangle, which I'm going to redraw over here, is six feet above the ground. So that means the vertical side of our triangle is going to be 84 feet minus 6 feet. So watch out for things like that. We can play that kind of a game. So we have 78 feet there. This is 58 degrees. And this is what I'm looking for. So I have my triangle. I'm going to label the sides. This is opposite. This is adjacent. And so I'm going to then select tangent for my trig ratio. So tangent of 58 
is going to equal 78 over x. And I hope you've noticed that when you multiply both sides by x, what happens is the x and our trig ratio actually trade places. So I'm going to get x equals 78 over tangent of 58. And that's what I'm going to plug into my calculator. So 78 divided by tangent of 58. I get 48.7 feet. So that's angle of elevation. Remember, by elevation is going up, looking up. Now let's do angle of depression. So this time you're looking down. So take a look at this picture here. You have a, a lifeguard um, and he's sitting on one of those um, lifeguard towers. And they're watching the swimmer. So the lifeguard is looking down. And this dashed line here is the, um, his eyesight or eye line. So if he was looking straight forward, that's where he would look. But he has to look down to see the swimmer. And so that angle between this horizontal dashed line and the line of sight, that's your angle of depression. And what's really neat is because this is a horizontal line, it's going to be parallel to the bottom of your triangle, which is also horizontal. So now you have a case of alternate interior angles, which means my angle of depression is congruent to this angle down here. That makes it easier to draw our triangles because I'm just going to draw this piece right here. And then I can just very easily take that angle of depression and put that in my triangle. So then this works just like all the other problems we've done. Angle of depression is also a vocab word, and right here is your definition when looking down to an object. The angle of depression is formed by an observer's line of sight and a horizontal line. And then the next thing it tells you is that you're going to have your angle of depression and an angle of elevation. So if you think of like from where the swimmer is looking up at the lifeguard, that's your angle of elevation, and they are actually congruent because of alternate interior angles. So let's solve a problem just like this one that we talked about. We've got the life forms, lifeguard sitting on the platform looking down at the swimmer. The lifeguard's line of sight is eight feet above the ground. So here's their line of sight. This is eight feet. Okay. And the uh, blah, 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 lifeguard's line of sight. And the angle of depression to the swimmer is 18 degrees. So right here is our swimmer. Here's the lifeguard up here. This is 18 degrees. So here's my triangle. Now the 18 degrees is going to be congruent with this angle in here, which is actually the swimmer's um, angle of elevation looking at the lifeguard. And then it says, how far away is the swimmer from the lifeguard? So I'm looking for this. All right. So just like before, um, I'll label your triangle. So this is going to be opposite. This is adjacent. So I'm going to choose tangent. So tangent of 18 equals 8 over x and then multiply both sides by x. And when you do that, you're going to end up with x equals 8 over tangent 18. So 8 divided by tangent of 18 is 24.6. Okay. We can also play a similar game looking at different heights, just like we did with angle of elevation. So uh, this problem here, I have building A is 480 feet tall. So here's building A, and it's 480 feet tall. 
And building B is 654 feet tall. So here's building B, and this one is 654 feet tall. If the angle of depression from the top of building B to the top of building A is 42 degrees, so here we go. This is 42 degrees. How far apart are the buildings? So I'm going to finish drawing in a triangle here. I'm going to highlight my triangle. So this is the triangle I'm solving. By alternate interior angles, this angle is 42 degrees. And I need to know the length of this piece here. I'm going to take 654 and subtract 480 to find that length. And that's going to be 654 minus 480. I got 174 feet. So then this length here is 174. And what I'm looking for is how far apart are the buildings. I'm looking for x. So now I have a triangle drawn. I'm going to label my sides, the 174, that's opposite. x is adjacent. I'm going to choose my trig ratio. It's tangent again. So tangent of 42 equals 174 over x. So that means x is 174 over the tangent of 42. And when I solve that, I get 174 divided by a tangent of 42. On my calculator, I got 193.2. So that means these two buildings are 193.2 uh, 193 feet apart. That's it for uh, today's lesson. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.